Welcome into another episode of Connor's Icebreakers. I'm your host, Carrie Osep, now joined by the one and only Stuart Skinner. Stuart, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. All right, first question, easiest question, I think, of the bunch. Why the sport of hockey? When I was younger, it was just kind of one of those things where you start watching it with your family and you just fall in love with it. What's your favorite part about this game? I mean, for me as a goaltender, I think it's got to be stopping pucks. To be super honest about it, it's just being around the guys and the, the relationships you create and the friendships you make throughout all these years. There's a lot of different people and um, to have that many people in your life that you really care about is uh, something really special. Did you start off on the ice in the net? No, actually, I was a forward. I was a centerman for uh, the first little bit. And then uh, I was begging my parents to uh, let me be a goalie and they did not. I, it took a lot of convincing to do. <laughs> Obviously though, it's really worked out for you. Uh, to start off this month, you were named goalie of the league. What has been the, about this year that you've been able to find success, do you think? Being a little bit relaxed and just playing hockey. I think a lot of it has to do with my teammates. There's not one guy that doesn't do their job in, in our zone. And that's the only reason why uh, I have success uh, is because the guy's in front of me. And the time spent up with Edmonton, what did that do for the development of your game? What was the most important part of that whole experience? Just watch like Miko Koskinen be with Mike Smith. Uh, I got to meet Forsberg. You know, just watching my think really, really helped me think about what it takes to play in the NHL and just the every day showing up at your very best. And speaking of the best, how'd you do against Connor McDavid in practice? <laughs> he definitely he looks silly a bunch of times. Uh, <laughs> a couple embarrassing moments for me, but he, it's not really that embarrassing though because he's the best player in the world. So no, I got my fair share of uh, buck stop, but I think he's, uh, he's definitely got me. Hey, that's all you got to say. I stopped some of his pucks because <laughs> I was going to ask you your favorite moment in your hockey career, if you can pick one. I'm going to have to say winning the championship in the WHL with Swift and Broncos. Lots of OT games, uh, lots of ice time, but we found a way to, to win the championship and go to the Memorial Cup and being able to lift that, uh, lift that cup in front of uh, the Swift Current hometown ice, I think was probably the most special moment for me. Everyone says playoff hockey, it's the best in the world in any sport. What is the best part about postseason hockey? The close games and being able to win those close games or the fans, um, which is gonna be tough this year because obviously the fan base, you're not gonna be able to have a full barn. There's just this energy when you go out on the ice just for warm up. there's this different type of energy that you just come out and you're like, this is playoff hockey and this is what you live for. This is what you play the game for. You ready for some rapid fire questions? Sure. <laughs> All right. Canadian food or American food? What's the best? Canadian. Oh, you already, he beat me to the punch on that one. <laughs> if you weren't playing hockey, what would you be doing in your career? I would do something to do with psychology. Oh, cool. Cool. Favorite sports movie of all time? Miracle. Who would play you in a movie? <laughs> That's a tough question. Get it? Who has the stash going right now? <laughs> What's that guy's name from uh, from Friends? He's uh, he dated Monica. <laughs> if you were stranded on a deserted island and had to take one of your teammates and bring something, what would those be, and who would it be? <laughs> I would probably pick Kevin Gravel because he's just so intelligent. He would help me to survive. A lot of psychological stuff going on between you two, probably right? Stuck on a. Yeah. Just, I feel like he would know his way back home. One thing, oh, <laughs> probably a map to get back home. There you go. <laughs> so efficient.